Hey YouTube, got a Acer Veriton here that I'm going to do a memory upgrade on. After doing the Windows 10 upgrade to it, it is running very slow. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to open this up. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to see how much memory it already has on it. Um, this unit has only 2 gig of memory, which is not very much for Windows 10. And... I'm going to upgrade it to the max, which is only 4 gig, and that's still not very much for Windows 10. I would like to get up to 8 gig, but uh, yeah, this motherboard can't handle much. And this model here is the Veriton N281G. Okay, once it's booted up, go down to your window icon. There it is. Okay, once you're in here, Go to the gear. Come on. Wait an hour. Oh no, it actually came up quick. Go to system. Then you want to scroll down to about. Click on that. And then it shows your uh, RAM right there, 2 gigabytes. So I'm going to upgrade that to 4 because that's all the motherboard inside this can handle. Let's get inside. Okay, so to open this, uh, you want to flip it to the bottom. Not the side with the power button, but the other side. And then there is a lip, a little tiny lip on the black part that you need to get into. You can use a credit card. I've seen that done. Or you can just get your fingernails under there start popping it out. Now before you do that you need to remove this screw. I tried to remove this screw and I think the uh, the threaded insert that the screw goes into is has uh, stripped out because the screw just turns and nothing nothing happens. It doesn't move so I've already found out that I can pop the pop that lid without actually taking the screw out. I can pop the lid and get to the memory. So anyway, uh, get your fingernails in between that that uh, thing and start prying it open. There we go. So there's the motherboard and there's your memory. You can uh, you know Push out on this metal tab, push out on that one, and then uh, just did it back and forth with one hand until it popped itself up. If you want to make it easier for yourself, I guess you can lay it down and get both hands in there, but here's our memory. So to figure out what kind of memory to get, you want to get this. PC3 1-10600S that's your memory number it's the number you need to know to get the correct memory I got the exact ones that uh, came out it's this number right here the 2G1R by 8 PC3 10600S-9-10-B10 dash 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 got the exact same thing so I'm going to put that in now Okay, so here's the old memory stick and here's the new one. So let's go ahead and put them in. I'm going to put the old memory stick in first uh, where it came out of. It would have been nice to get this lid off, but whatever. Alright, get it slid in, snap it down. Next one. You want to make sure you get it slid in all the way before you snap it down. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, snap. Snap it all together. So it still took a long time to boot up, but let's see if uh, it accepted the memory that we put in. Go to your gear again, once it stops thinking, 
There we go. System. Scroll down. Hit about. Woo! There's four gig. It took it. So now we got four gig. Yay! We got it maxed out. It's a slow processor. Not very much RAM. Not really suitable for Windows 10, but whatever. Uh, hope you enjoyed.